Alrighty, final thing I want to leave you with is something that's really fun, something that's actually new to me with Storybook, and that is called Story Shots, which is basically going to be free tests from your stories. Uh, I'll actually close this. And what we're going to do is within our project, I've gone ahead and quit. Um, I'm actually going to quit the React Native Packager and Storybook. Then I'm going to say yarn add at storybook forward slash add on dash story shots. You're going to want to, want to add that as a development dependency. Alrighty, and with that complete, what we can do now is open up our project navigator and we're going to go to the actual storybook directory. We're going to create a new file called storyshots.test.js. Inside of here, we're going to say import init story shots from at storybook add on story shots. And then we're just going to call this init story shots. And basically what this is going to do is take all of our stories that we wrote for the purposes of easily building, easily testing, easily documenting our components and automatically get a bunch of snapshot tests from those. So being React Native developers, you've actually got a story or rather just installed and set up in your project already, which means you get just snapshot testing. That means if we were on yarn run test, we get an error. And to fix said error, what we're going to do is actually, so you can see couldn't find preset module Metro React Native Babel preset. The reason this is happening is uh, the Jest test is actually running in a different environment than React Native, and React Native is actually just pulling that in automatically. So we need to go ahead and provide that to it. So we can say yarn add uh, Metro React Native Babel preset dash D. And now if we run yarn test, you can see just running and it's still failing. And I'd be lying if I said it didn't take me a while to figure this out. But uh, what we need to do, once again, there's always one more thing, right? Uh, go to your package.json for your project. And then inside of just, what we want to do is actually add a new key in here called transform. And I'll, I'll have this down in the uh, actual body of this lesson so you can just copy it uh, as I'm going to do. But we just need to run a preprocessor uh, to make things work. I'd be lying if I said exactly, I knew exactly what this was doing, but it makes it work. Uh, so we'll run yarn test once again. So far, nothing's breaking. And we can see here that Automatically for free, we got 17 snapshots written for us. So we've got snapshots for our button, our form switch, our text input, field wrapper, all that good stuff. It's just going ahead and writing story story shots, nah, snapshots for this. So we can look in here at our button. Um, it's checking that basically our styles are being passed in there correctly and everything. So we are seeing the press me is being passed in there so on and so forth. So this is just something really nice on top of just like the benefits of using Storybook to build out that component library. Uh, we can also get tests on top of it. So by using, by building a component library via Storybooks, we've got, doc, well, we've got great components with a great API. We've got documentation on how to use those, demonstrations on how to use those components. And finally, we actually get snapshot tests uh, for free by writing those stories. So with that, we are all set, and I hope you found some value in this, and you'll try building out a component library within your application uh, to make your life easier now and then especially later on in maintenance of the application and maintenance of the components.